Once upon a time, in a serene village nestled among rolling green hills, there lived a wise old monk named Zenko. Zenko had dedicated his life to the pursuit of enlightenment and spreading the teachings of Zen. People from far and wide would seek Zenko's counsel, hoping to find solace and happiness in their lives. One day, a troubled young man named Koji arrived at the monastery seeking guidance. He was burdened by worries, anxieties, and a deep longing for happiness. Koji approached Zenko, his eyes filled with desperation, and said, Master Zenko, I am lost in the chaos of this world. I seek happiness, but I cannot find it. Please show me the path to true contentment. Zenko smiled gently, knowing the weight of Koji's heart. He motioned for Koji to sit beside him on a worn wooden bench overlooking a tranquil pond. Koji, finding happiness is like finding a rare flower blooming amidst thorny bushes, Zenko began. To find it, you must embark on a journey within yourself. Curious, Koji leaned forward, his attention captured by Zenko's words. The first step, Zenko continued, is to let go of attachments. Just as a flower does not cling to its petals, we must learn to release our attachments to desires, expectations, and outcomes. Embrace the present moment and find contentment in what is. Koji nodded, absorbing the wisdom shared by Zenko. But he couldn't help but ask, but how can I let go of attachments when they seem to define my very existence? Zenko smiled warmly and recounted a tale. Once there was a gardener who loved his beautiful garden immensely. Each morning he would tend to his flowers with great care, ensuring they received ample sunlight and water. Among his flowers was a radiant rose, the most exquisite in the entire garden. One day, a storm swept through the village, bringing gusty winds and heavy rain. The gardener watched in horror as his beloved rose was battered by the elements. Its delicate petals were torn, and its once vibrant colors faded. The gardener felt a deep sense of loss and anguish. Days passed, and the gardener couldn't bear to look at the damaged rose. He decided to uproot it and discard it in a nearby stream. As he held the rose in his hands, he noticed something remarkable. Despite the damage, a subtle fragrance still lingered, and the rose exuded a quiet beauty. In that moment, the gardener realized the impermanence of all things. He let go of his attachment to the rose's outward appearance and discovered a deeper appreciation for its essence. He released it into the flowing water, knowing that its beauty would continue to exist in a new form. Zenko paused and locked eyes with Koji. In the same way, Koji, we must recognize that true happiness lies beyond external circumstances. Embrace the impermanence of life and let go of attachments that bind you to suffering. Nurture your inner garden and you will discover the enduring fragrance of contentment. Koji sat in silence, absorbing the wisdom that flowed from Zenko's words. With newfound clarity, he understood that happiness was not a distant destination, but a state of being found within oneself. From that day forward, Koji embarked on his own journey of self-discovery, guided by the timeless wisdom of Zenko. As he learned to release attachments and embrace the present moment, his burdens lightened, and a profound sense of joy filled his heart. In time, Koji became a beacon of happiness, illuminating the lives of others with his serene presence, and the village, touched by his transformation, embraced the teachings of Zen, cultivating a community that found happiness not in the pursuit of external possessions, but in the simple beauty of existence. And so the tale of Koji and Zenko's wisdom continues, a gentle reminder that true happiness is always within reach, waiting to be discovered within the depths of our own souls.